The Cube at EMC World 2014 is brought to you by EMC. Redefine. VCE. Innovating the world's first converged infrastructure solution for private cloud computing. Brocade. Say goodbye to the status quo and hello to Brocade. Welcome back everyone. We're here at VMworld 2014 at the Plaza Hotel. Uh, our fifth year of having the Cube at VMworld and uh, this is a special year. We actually have two Cubes running concurrently which is a first for us but this shows we got a lot of great information, a lot of great insight. I'm joined, by, uh, joined in this segment by my co-host Stu Miniman. Thanks, Jeff. And uh, yeah, it's actually wrong part of the Federation. We're in EMC World. I'm sorry. But, you know, we will. We are looking forward to the fifth it's year at VMworld. Live VM World, TV, and but, uh, we'll be at VMworld uh, uh, later absolutely. this year. Absolutely. Uh, EMC World, uh, fifth year, uh, and I think this is the fourth year in Vegas in a row. We were uh, the first year was in Boston. Uh, it's kind of nice for me. It was a short drive, um, but uh, you know, yeah. Here, here. Uh, thanks so much. Our, our segment we're focusing on converged infrastructure, and specifically uh, the vSpecs uh, product line, which uh, the Cube is. Uh, had a close eye on since the launch that we were actually uh, broadcast from uh, back in April 2012. Our, our segment uh, right now, we've got uh, John Tomfat, uh, okay. who is the Director of uh, Business Development and Marketing for Converged and Data Solutions with Avnet. John, thanks for joining us. Well, glad to be here, thank you very much. Yeah, so, so uh, you know, we're very familiar with Avnet. Avnet helps, uh, you know, their distributor, they help build solutions, uh, you know, very active in the Converged infrastructure space, and uh, uh, you guys, you know, launched a pretty Pretty interesting solution uh, with vSpecs about a year ago. Uh, can right. you just give us a little intro to the, the, the solution itself? Uh, a, a portable moving, uh, you know, yep. uh, vSpecs, and uh, you know, where are we today? Right. So uh, we, we wanted to really launch our services capability uh, and really make a splash, and, and so we decided to integrate a fully converged infrastructure. In fact, it was a V plus C plus C configuration in a mobile data center that was hardened. Um, and we worked with a particular manufacturer where the enclosure can move up to three miles an hour. Uh, it runs in a, uh, uh, in a hostile uh, environment in terms of, of weather and conditions. Um, and it's really designed to uh, operate in, in uh, disaster recovery type scenarios. And in fact, it's at uh, the EMC booth this year as well, making a second appearance. And so, if you sort of think about uh, the, the need to make a splash, and, and uh, uh, I, I think the unit did its job. It, it's gone on a, literally a, a national tour with a number of partners uh, that's used it to get the conversation going about vSpecs turning reference to reality, right? Uh, so it, it's done a terrific job. Yeah, I, th I think it's a, it's a good showcase to show the flexibility of the solution because that, that, that's a message you know very much out of EMC and especially from vSpecs is it, it's about choice, it's about building something that the, that the customer's going to need. Uh, can you talk? You know, how's the adoption of, of a solution like that? I'm, I'm curious. Is this mostly you know used in kind of wartime places or? Well, no, uh, actually, the, we we did have a number of federal partners uh, 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 look at and deploy similar solutions. But what we found, uh, interesting enough, is there was a number of state and local disaster recovery folks who, who needed, essentially, sort of think of, uh, if you have a natural uh, earthquake or, or a tornado hits, you, you want to roll out a data center, plug it in, and, and in hostile conditions, it runs. And so, uh, from an adoption perspective, it did well. Um, I, I think what it really did well was it allowed our partners to have the conversation around choice, to your point, right? So, converged infrastructures from, from a number of manufacturers, from VCE uh, uh, and vSpecs with, with EMC, um, it, it really proved the point that uh, through some level of customization, uh, partners can bring value to the proposition, and, and candidly so does dis distribution. And from, from the time we launched last year to now, uh, I'm really pleased to tell you that the, our partner community has really adopted vSpecs. We've probably tripled the number of partners who are now quoting and configuring vSpecs. Uh, some in, in its, uh, what I call it, some in its individual state, um, and, and quite a few in the pre-integrated state. Um, 
we, we've noticed... Uh, and just to clarify, the pre-integrated state means that Avnet actually puts it all together and right. ships it out as what we might call a single managed entity? Yeah, so, so, so yes, right, right close to that. Pre-integrated is when the partner buys the compute, the network, and storage right. individually, right? right? Post-integrated is, is when we take that oh, okay. service and, and, and does it for, for the partner, right? Okay. Um, we've, we've launched a number of enablement activities um, that, that has resulted in a significant number of, of increased both uh, closed deals as well as, uh, as uh, increasing the close rate of VSpecs. Uh, so we're very, very excited about that. Um, I think if we were to uh, look back then and now, it's really allowed us to extend uh, our services capability uh, and deliver more advanced services, right? So full-blown implementation as in standing up a fully converged infrastructure and really giving the partners true choice of a pre-integrated AKA VCE, AKA another manufacturer, versus uh, VSpecs that has choice. So we're, we couldn't be happier at this point. John, how much is a, of a project like that is really designed to deliver that solution because there's a big demand for it, versus really building capabilities to demonstrate more general purpose things that you'll use in a number of areas? Yeah, so uh, I, I'd answer it like this, that uh, a lot of, most of our partners fall sort of into two categories. Uh, one, that they have the capability to do the implementation themselves, uh, and partners who don't have that capability, right? And, and for the ones that do have that capability, it comes down to a conversation of, of where they can get a, a better utilization rate of their bench, right? So they can, right. if they can get that consultant out at a higher billable rate, and, and source uh, sort of the the, uh, the basic integration services out. Uh, it, it, it's it's turned out to be a boon for those partners as well. So so it fits both sides of, of the calculus. Okay. Uh, of the partner base. And how yeah. big is this mobile data center? I'm just curious. Said ah. three miles an hour. Yeah. So I'm so, trying to picture it rolling down the road right. into uh, this hostile post. <laughs> uh, app Right. Apocalyptic earthquake scene. I was sure. in San Francisco in '89. They uh, could have used it down in the marina, right. probably, right? It uh, it's actually about uh, two and a half feet wide. Okay. It's about six feet tall. Okay. And it weighs about 2,500 pounds because it's uh, completely self-contained. It's battery operated. The air. Uh, oh, it's battery operated too. So that's right. completely so, self-contained. That's right. Okay. It's, uh, the air inside the enclosure never mixes with the outside air, so you can have it in the middle of a windstorm. Right, dust storm, and, 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 and as long as you've got electricity, it's, uh, it continues to run. Wow. Right. In terms of uh, what we're excited to talk about uh, this year and, and what we're doing with, with our uh, show floor, is we've got two new converged infrastructures that addresses different segments of the market. Uh, so the first one is a 75 VM configuration. Uh, again, it's B plus C plus E in a uh, 12 U enclosure and it's really designed to address the SMB market and the Canadian market, interestingly enough, right? So when, when we launched last year with uh, three and 600 VM configs, the Canadian folks came back and said, hey, look, we're, we're looking for, for a little smaller sizing, um, and we're very excited to, to showcase the unit on the floor with the brand new VNX3200 and the DD2200 in it, right? So it's, it's a fully running V-Specs with the latest technology, and we plan on bringing that out to market. So we're very, very excited. Second one is scale I.O. So we've got a scale I.O. configuration. Um, and and you know, for us, it's the prelude to uh, the hyper-converged market. And so we're very excited about that. Yeah, could you speak a little bit more about that? You know, yeah. what have you been hearing kind of, because when I hear hyper-converged, I think a bunch of startups. So, uh, um, you sure. know, we, we, we've covered scale out quite a bit, right, written about it, but, yeah. um, you know, what, what's interest in the marketplace and, and why are you excited about the scale IO piece? Sure, I, I think from, particularly from the way that we're deploying the solution, um, uh, we're aiming it at the uh, f sub 50 VM configuration. Wow where there's no network involved, right? So you can really compress the price um, and, and really get folks into um, just that, a, a converged infrastructure uh, a, a, at a starting point that gives them a great deal of flexibility and then continues to, to uh, allow them to grow. Uh, the, the thing that we hear a lot is 
how can we get uh, converged infrastructures uh, a little bit more down market, yep. right? And, and we think that scale IO really serves solves that that issue. Okay, I'm curious, because when I think down market there, I, you know, I think VMware vSAN you know, could be a, a potential fit there. Is that, uh, is that yep. an option that you're, you guys are looking at? We, we are. Um, we're, we're looking at vSAN as well. Um, I, I think when you get into sort of the, the M of, of the mid market and, and sort of the S of, of SMB, uh, partners are looking for choice, right? to address a, a much smaller market and still allow the, the room to grow. Uh, so yes, vSAN is, is part of the, the calculus for us. Yeah, so, so when you say choice, you know, VMware vSAN is only on a VMware environment, as opposed Understood. to scale IO can work across many hypervisors or even that's a correct. physical environment. So is that what you mean by choice? Yes, or? that's exactly okay. right. Cool, uh, okay, uh, yeah, so you know, t tell us, you, you've been, you, Avnet was at EMC World last year, you're here this year, what, what, what's your impressions of the show so far? Well, I'll tell you, I, I was astounded when I walked into uh, Joe's opening session today. I, I don't know what the, the real numbers are, but it felt like it was almost twice the size. So do you guys have, have a sense so of? So they flipped the stage, which was kind of weird on us. It took a little while. I heard, yeah. the, I heard the room could hold 12,000 people, um, and uh, you know, as I as I walk through, there yeah. were definitely plenty of people standing in the back. So right. I, I know we're we're north of twelve thousand, uh, and uh, you know this is a record-breaking EMC world as as it is most years. Uh, but yeah, so it's so it, it, it's definitely a good, good, good buzz, good attendance so far. Where uh, I I was just that astonished by the turnout, and uh, I'm very excited about the message uh, in terms of going from second to third platform. I, I think it's it's. Yeah. Uh, so I, one of the one of the things we we've been beating on here is because EMC is more than just a storage company. If EMC Indeed. was a storage company, this would be a five to seven thousand person show. That's so right. you know, how has your relationship at Avnet changed with EMC uh, over the last few years? Sure, that that's a great point. And and uh, to to pick up on on that thread, uh, if you think about just even three years ago, we were predominantly selling uh, just EMC hardware, hardware software. Uh, to a very uh, sort of small and, and niche uh, set of partners who uh, concentrated solely on storage. And what I would say to you today is uh, that partner base has grown because it's not just storage partners, it's application vendors and, and partners, um, it's, uh, it's uh, compute partners, right? vSpecs allows us to, to uh, open up the aperture of, of the ecosystem. Uh, so I would say to you, our partner base has changed rather dramatically over that time. Okay. Well, hey, John, really appreciate you coming, showing. I definitely want to go check out that that mobile, uh, you know, unit in the in the show floor. It looks like you guys have a video online that people can check out uh, to, to see uh, that mobility. But uh, you know, this has been Stu Miniman with Jeff Frick and John Tonthat uh, from Avnet. Uh, thanks for joining us. We'll be right back with our next guest. Great. Thanks, Mark.